All right, what's going on, guys? We're back. I'm really the God Slayer. I'm really gaming. We're back in more of the post Shadow Ringers quest line. Let's keep going. We just got through learning more about Elizabeth. We're gonna see what we got. What we got next? Assuming we have some idea as to what you might pop, use might usefully do while. Wow. He still pursues her investigations. You know, even undercover Elizabeth's true origins. We may have yet come to understand his designs. Coming through Death Knight. Dare I ask what's going on? Death Knight's coming through. Ah, excellent timing. For me, in any case. We have a problem. The vast majority of those gathered here are presently in the employ of the Guard or else one of the facets, and no longer wish to be so. In principle, all are free to change vocation at any time. But a city does require a certain number of people in these positions if it is to continue to function. For the moment, I have asked them to postpone their resignation until such time as replacements can be found. As you may have surmised, we have the Warrior of Light to thank for this. It's you, the warrior of darkness. You understand, don't you? Someone's going to have to look after this place once you're gone. We just want to be ready to do our bit when the time comes. And not only here, but everywhere. Which is why we've got to get out there and lend a hand to those in need. That's what you did, isn't it? Even if it was just little things at the start. You helped people. And we're trying to do the same. We may have our sky back. But there's no shortage of people who still need help. If we follow in your footsteps, then I choose to believe we too can be heroes one day. Even warriors of light. What are we to say to that? We can hardly tell them they are mistaken. They seek but to do good, as you have. But no more can we stand idly by and suffer a paragon scheme to proceed unchallenged. Oh 
Okay, what the hell is happening here? What? What's happening to the sky? I hear a voice. You and all. Then why does it feel like it's inside my head? Hear, feel, think. I hear it. Me too. Did I not tell you, my friends? You are warriors of light. You're back! What the f what the hell is happening? What you hear is the voice of light itself, and it has blessed you with its power. Welcome to the fold. I'm a warrior of light. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I've been chosen. Can it be? Me? The hero. He about to get all of them killed. He about to get all of them killed. Wait. The falling stars, were they your doing? And why do you need warriors of light? What, am I to reveal my plans simply because you asked? Nay, I think not. Though the stars, I acknowledge mine. A convenient illusion apt to awaken what little is left of the power that once resided in your sundered soul. That which you and yours call the Echo. And an Echo it is of a symphony, but a fraction of what men in their completeness once possessed. Even those among you who tower over others in the gift have only the faintest trace of it. Damn. But though sundered and forgotten, through death and mocking rebirth, it has persisted. A whisper of our past, burned into your very ether, along with the sight of our end. Through the rekindling of memory, I have awoken the ability, just as Heidelin is wont to do when she has need of new minions.
The Echo has ever been thought a gift from Heidelin, a boon granted solely to her chosen. Yet thou wouldst claim she merely awakeneth the power that men should hearken unto. Her voice. Given the perceived simultaneity of her call and the awakening of her chosen's capacity to hear it, it is only natural that we thus attributed the source of the gift. Yet if, in truth, the echo is a prerequisite for hearing her voice, one might surmise that her call never ceaseth, such that all who awaken to their innate gift might receive of the blessing of light at the self-same instant. In sooth, we bore witness to this but moments ago. At the sight of the star shower, full many in the crowd did speak of hearing a voice in their minds, did they not? Just so. And whenever Heidelin has need of new servants, she is quick to pluck comets from the heavens or create illusions of the same. Why then didst thou conjure this vision, full knowing that thine age-old foe would thus claim those awakened to the gift? Foe? You must be mistaken. As you see, I am a warrior of light. And together with my comrades in arms, I shall save the world. Just like you. What in the world? Hold on, has he? The more he, the Libus reveals the less I understand. But that, has, that, but that he has made a fine mess of things is plain. So not everybody actually does believe they're warriors of light. He is gone then. I've managed to persuade a number of our would-be deserters to reconsider, or at least delay the departure. But as many are deaf to my, but as many are deaf to my entreaties. Young Thaler and one are among them. I'm sorry to say, we quit the guard. Nevertheless, I wish them well. Ever little as plans for them might be, the pair have only ever had the best of intentions. Okay. I can hardly blame them for thinking themselves heroes elect. Not after having been blessed with the echo. And it's not as if they haven't shown the re requisite spirit. I quite agree. Though the impetus for their sudden departure may have been words falsely spoken, the men and women in whose footsteps they would follow are heroes in truth, whereas of light. Arbor, yourself, most of all. So I would ask a favor for you. Love you. Speak with them ere they embark on their journey. And furnish them with wisdom you can. They set off for the honorable launch. Will you still be able to catch them if you leave now? The effort, I'd say. Robin took the time to usher you out of the uh, out into the water world many moons ago. Here's another flatters.
Okay, we gotta go up here and we gotta. Oh, we gotta try to talk to them because we can't. Yeah. Can be sure we'll take those words to heart. I can't believe it. You coming all this way to speak to us. I swear we won't let you down. As long as it helps someone, we'll do what needs doing out there. No matter how small. And when larger threat looms, we'll be ready to face them. You see if we aren't. Strike fast and true, for victory belongs to the bold. Oh, well, well, darkness. And thank you. Exarc Exarc I meant to go to that one. <laughs> I meant to go to that one. Which one is that? It is the docile gate. Okay, I, that's why I meant to go to that one. Blah. Anomnesis and Ander or Anider Anider do raise important questions as the identity of your adversary. We are no closer to discerning his design, nor do I know of any other potential avenue of investigation. Let's trust in these told us, which told us ingenuity. Wait for her efforts to revive the ancient device to bear fruit. In combat, perhaps. Where stealth is required, the opposite is true. Happily, I don't plan on getting myself caught, so you have no need to worry. Nor do I wish to, to vanish from moons on end. We still have the empty to attend to, don't we? I look forward to your return. 
then it sounds like the rest of us should avoid doing anything which might prop a little bit to look too closely at our movements. In so far as it's possible, I recommend we limit our activities to the Custarium. Speaking of which, XR, might I ask if you made any progress with the spirit vessel? Of course, we are presently studying the principles underpinning memory transference, and I believe nearing the requisite level of understanding. That's hardening me. Practical tra trials of transference methods suited for use with the vessel have yet to yield satisfactory results, to put it mildly. There are still many promising possibilities you've yet to test. Though it may take some time yet, we are well on our way to a solution. And I shall not rest until one is found. It's not labor to the exclusion of all else. It would serve to lighten thy burning. However little, I would gladly offer mine assistance. Quite. I, for my part, will do what I can to ensure the Crystorium continues to run smoothly in spite of recent disruptions. Perhaps I could help? There must be something I can do, even if it's just guard duty. Thank you, all of you. I shall breathe easier for your assistance. Of course, on the evidence of the recent past, it will not be long before some new crises arise to throw our plans into disarray, at which time your services will be in particular demand. <laughs> Perhaps you take this to retire to your sweet dependents. Yeah, I need, to, I need to go kick it and chill. I need to go chill. I'm gonna we'll let y'all do some do the do the boring stuff. Y'all let me know when I gotta smack somebody with this sword. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know when I gotta when I gotta smack a lack somebody with this blade. You know. Y'all let me know when I have to unleash my darkness. You know. You know. I have to unleash my darkness. It's cat girl. This chocobo, this weird chocobo. Some, some helmet thing on. Always a pleasure, Master Ellie. Sleeping all inside my armor. Master Relic is Glennard from the Warning Stars. I apologize for coming so late. A 
friend of yours was asking after you. You may remember them from that business with the Cardinal Virtues. You. Well met, Sinner. I was looking forward to a welcome respite here in Crystarium, but the mood here is not exactly conducive for to, to relaxation, as I'm sure you've noticed. I, I'd wager you know more about what's going on than anyone else in the city. Care to share? can't say that I envy your prey. Envy you your prey. <laughs> Dark work. This twisting of the warrior's light or lawyer oil light's legacy reminds me of what became of old the causing though this ashy end of yours is a fair bit more chatty. I am tempted to silence him myself. Brendan made his mistakes. I'm sure they all did. But the past is the past. They've earned their rest. I'm not about to let him sully Arbor's good name. What, you want me to leave it to you? Right, right. I'm not the only one carrying all that weight. Very well. But only because you asked. Remember, if you ever need me, just say the word. I'll be there. <coughs> hey, what's up, Sinner? <laughs> Umbilicus and the crystal towers umbilicus. Foiled again. If I cannot imbue the infernal thing with my power via magical means, we may need to devise a way to infuse the vessel with my blood after all. Oh. Art thou unwell? Or perhaps a brief respite? It wouldn't do to overtax yourself. I'm fine. And given to stubbornness, I'm afraid. Especially when I have a stake in the outcome.
Boy, what? Zeno's? Boy, Zeno's in Cal Boy, boy, what? Boy, look at that outfit. Boy, look at that jacket. God damn. Boy, he is pimping. He is pimping hard right now. Got that garlic and jack. Boy. Dream again. A recurring dream? They do so fascinate me. Might I trouble you for the details? I have always dreamed of it. Fire falling from the heavens, and the city, nay, the whole world ablaze. Indeed. Could Emmett Selk have found a way? Precious few possess memories of the final days. Final days. Why, yes. Admittedly, my knowledge is mostly second hand, but if you are interested, I will gladly tell you the tale. The tale of the world's end. Yo, he seems so bored too. That's the thing about Xenos. He always seems so bored. Okay, let me see where we at here. Hold on. I can't tell. Man's looking anxious. What are we venturing for today? You be sure to take care of yourself. Though they say that the star shot was harmless, no one can ever be too careful. Or does have to protect him himself? Oh, what happens? You understand? And how very opportune. A moment to spare. Yeah, yeah, cause that ain't him. Shit, I was surprised.
Damn, boy, he fucking up. He fucking with Arbor's memory. Cause if, if that shit come out to be bad, it's gonna look bad on him. Oh shit. No rest for the righteous, it would seem. No, let me keep you, sir. I bid you a pleasant day. Oh, great. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go to the library. I go to the library. I go to the library. Can't mount up. About this moment finished gathering the information. It's the only details that are most relevant. Business as usual. So I thought I'd spend some time brushing up my knowledge on affair on familiars. And Alpha No volunteered to help. I actually came on a different errand, but I'd be interested in hearing about the Warrior of Light as well. Can I join you? Why Alice and, and Alpha no lips chap? Why they lips so chapped up? Oh, 
Why y'all lips chapped like a mug, man? <laughs> Alphano and Alex say his lips chapped up. <laughs> I would note the comparative frequent reoccurrence of individuals hailed as warriors of light. Norvrance Oldest Epic, the original tale of the struggle between good and evil. A prophesied hero rose to deliver the world from doom. Fighting in the name of the light, the hero styled himself as a foot soldier. Foot soldier. On destiny come to be known as the warrior of light. Curiously, in the centuries that follow, other heroes appear to claim the self same, same epithet, despite sharing no discernible connection with their predecessors. And in time, Warriors of Light came to be a name accorded to all men and women of uncommon skill and valor. What oh, thickens? Using the source, how many and varied heroes have been honored thus since in thus since antiquity? Notice the custom showing you some dining out, as you can well attest. Surely can't be a coincidence. Indeed not. As a man who is awakened to the echo and is able to hear Heidelin's voice as she styles him, so too, so do, too does he style himself, a warrior of light. Being blessed with the echo does not in itself make one a hero. And conversely, there have been no few heroes who are not blessed with it. But such distinctions are immaterial to the masses, and over time they came to use the title Warrior of Light and the word Hero interchangeably.
What's in the name? Doesn't change anything. I think a name can mean a lot. And I imagine it, it would be terrible to have people call you something that which didn't feel right. Ashens will have been amused. To have the world at large associate light and by extension haggling with good must have added insult to injury. While this discussion is undeniably fascinating, I wonder, should I be privy to it? Maybe it would be better if I excuse myself. No, no need for that, my friend. Pray our apologies. Your lesson on the warrior of light has given us much to, to ponder. Oh, oh, did someone say warriors of light? What? The hell? Riquitio, you all right? My precious tombs, did I not say you must take care in the cabinet? You too, Arkill, Airway. I'm sorry, Master Morin. Aren't you? The Warrior of Darkness? My name is Rikitio. And I want to help everyone. what I have to do to be a hero, to be a warrior of light. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> just catching, just catching me off guard and shit. I'm over here like, yo. You do know I got this big sword on my back, right? I like to split people in half with it. I like to smack people upside their faces with it and smack their jaws off. And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, it's a really violent life to be a warrior of light in the dark. You know what I'm saying? Like, really violent. All right, let's go ahead and talk to her real quick. Be a warrior of light, but, none of, but not one that fights with the sword and all that. I want to be the kind that, that that fights with potions and heals people. An apothecary. Now I'm going to help everyone in the Crystarium, knowing all of Norvran. When I told Arkill and Errol this, they said the cabinet should have lots of tones about potions. But this place is so big, and we don't have the faintest idea where to begin searches. At this rate, I'm never going to get anywhere. If one knew where to look, one should indeed be able to find trustees on potions here. Even so, I fear that it may prove a little difficult for one so young, but um, hmm. esteemed warrior of darkness, perhaps you might accompany young <laughs> Rikitio to Spagrits? Rather than through tomes, I believe she stands to learn more by observing Chikurians that are at their to work. Sounds like a plan. It seems we've finished here, so we'll come with you. Last one to the right neck! I have you know I'm really fast. You're gonna be the right neck. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's finish this out and then we'll, we'll call it a day. Ooh, no.
There you go. I owe the pleasure of so many bright-eyed visitors. What's to learn about medicine? Proposals to help people all over the world. place themselves in harm's way to keep us safe. The artisans who toil tirelessly that we might sustain our way of life. And younglings like you who are the future of the Crystaria. They couldn't simply abandon them, you see. And so difficult though it was, they made the decision to remain. And does that mean my dream isn't any good? Oh, yours is a wonderful dream. And it would be my pleasure to help you and pursue it. If we all work hard, the day will come when our hands will set forth to aid folk in every corner of the realm. As we strive towards that day, I hope we can rely on you upon you as well. But I must warn you, ours isn't an easy path. You must work very, very hard. I'm not afraid of hard work. I'll become the best apothecary ever. Just you watch. That's the spirit. I trust you with the task. I placed an order of sweet seed for a potion ingredient. Now, but I'd like you to go and collect it. Leave it to me, miss. It's an abundance of energy. Though I can't help but wonder if she'll be all right by herself. Aspirations. They want to know how to fight. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna end it here. In the next one, we're gonna go follow this little girl and we're gonna help her uh, assist in her dream of becoming a warrior of light. I'm really the God Slayer, I'm really gaming. We out.